If you're bored of the videos that show you tapping on the version number Easter egg or some common developer options, then you've come to the right place. In this video, I will show you some of the hidden features and tricks in Android that you might not know about. So let's start. Many of you guys might be using Vault or some storage app that will help you hide your data. What you might not know is that there's a trick inside Android itself that will help you hide your data and it's one of the most solid methods of hiding your images and other media. So I'll show you how you can do that. First of all, I'll head on over to the gallery and I will show you that you can actually see the image there. So I am using QuickPick as my gallery. It also works for the native gallery app. So right now this image, this is actually a poster that I created recently. So this image, you can open it in the gallery app right now. Now I will show you how you can do this trick. You will have to open a file manager app and the image is stored directly onto the internal SD card. So you will have to copy it <clears throat> and then create a new folder named dot no media. After you create the folder, you will have to paste the file inside of this. Now go to the internal storage again and delete the file from there. You can copy any other file from anywhere you want, but you might have noticed that you can't see the .no media folder here. So the folder that you've created won't be displayed here and in any other file manager app and the image will also be hidden from your gallery. So now you can't see the image in the gallery and there's no folder named no media folder. So the data that you've stored inside the no media folder can only be accessed through your laptop or a file manager app that shows no media files. But for most apps and most file managers, it won't display the no media folder and you can't access or use the images stored inside the folder using any gallery app. So yeah, this is a very solid method for hiding your images. So sometimes when you get a lot of notifications on your phone and then you clear some of them and then you realize you have cleared an important notification or you didn't read what the notification was. I do that all the time and what you could do is you could create a notification log shortcut and here's how to do that. You'll have to click on widgets and you'll have a widget for settings. You have to click and drag it. Then you have all the setting shortcuts. You'll have to click on notification log. And when you click on it, you will get the list of all the notifications that you've got. As I've already told you, this is quite useful and I use it all the time. This is an easter egg built into the Android system itself. So it's not the easter egg in which you tap on the version number. No, it's not that. You'll have to open the phone app for this. So this will only work if you're using stock Android or your ROM is very similar to stock Android. This won't work in most of the Samsung or Sony phones. But for my Motorola phone, it uses stock dialer. So I'll have to dial this number. So when you click on the last number here, I will also leave the number besides this right here somewhere. So when you click on three, the last number, this phone icon will vibrate and will change its colors. So yeah, that's the Easter egg in the phone app and not many people know about this. This is not a trick, but it's kind of a hidden feature that is hidden inside the system settings. If you have ever used stock Android on your device, you might have felt the need for a file manager. What you might not know is that stock Android has a built-in file manager. So if you click on this app section, you will not find the stock Android file manager here. We have Moto file manager, but this is different. So if you want to see the file manager, you'll have to go to the settings menu. Here you have storage. And if you click on internal storage and you will get an option to explore. This will show all the files that you have. It will also show the images and the videos that you have saved and it will also sync up with your drive and will show your drive files. It is very useful and after Marshmallow it has become quite useful. It is quite better than some of the file managers available on the Play Store. You can have multiple windows in this also. So it will show different windows here. It's quite a shame that Google didn't put a shortcut to this on the app section, but it is still quite useful and I use it all the time. I've already made a video on the no get secret features. If you haven't already, you can check that out also and leave a like below if you like this video. Have you ever felt that the internal storage on your phone is low 
or you don't have enough space for all the apps or the data or even the media that you store on your phone and you keep getting that low storage error all the time so if you don't know after marshmallow you can use your sd card as your internal storage so what you have to do to format the sd card as internal storage you will have to head on over to the settings menu first of all you will have to insert your sd card then go to storage here you will find your sd card so when you click on it you will get all the files that are stored in this you will have to click on the three dots and click on storage settings here you will get an option called format as internal when you click on this option you will get an option to format the storage as internal storage so you can back up all the data that is on your device and then when you click on erase and format it will format the sd card and and after this your sd card will be converted into internal storage so i'll click erase and format so after you format your sd card you have the option to move apps and data to it or you can move them later so i'll click on move later and you're done now your internal memory has been increased and this card is also being used as internal memory so we can store apps and data on it so this trick is built into android itself but it requires a separate app to work so you can either spoof your friends by showing them your fake location or you can hide your location from the internet itself so what you'll have to do is go to the developer settings and you'll have to enable it uh, by tapping on the build number and then go to developer options and there would be an option for mock location app so what you'll have to do before this is go to the play store and search for an app called fly gps and you'll have to install this app i've already installed this app so i will quickly go to the developer settings and select the mock location app as fly gps after you do that you'll have to open the fly gps app right now my current location is new delhi but i will change it to jammu and kashmir now your location is spoofed any app you open will have the location as jammu and kashmir so i'll quickly go to facebook and share my location so now you see that i have all the options for the locations near jammu and kashmir so i can check into ladakh as my location and spoof my friends i can also use any other app that requires me a different location in some previous versions of android you will not have the mock location app but you will have just the option to enable mock location that also works just the same but it just changes your location randomly this is also an easter egg and this is in the hangouts application so if you open the hangouts app and in any conversation you'll have to type slash ponies and you will have a pony go from right to left on your screen it's not a hidden feature but it is something that most of you guys might not know you can actually connect a mouse using an otg cable to your mobile phone so you just need a otg cable that cost about 20 or 30 rupees and you will need a wireless mouse or any other normal mouse will work so you can see that i'm using my mouse on my mobile and it works just fine this can be a life saver if your display breaks and your touch stops working so that's it for the video guys if i sounded a bit off that's maybe because i'm having cold but if you like the video you can check out more like these and subscribe to this channel for more content like this Oh, 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 oh,